Welcome. We are now up to step three. Analyze reports in this getting started series of seven training videos. In this video, we will show you how to run reports while discussing the available templates, report criteria, and toolbars. To access reports, click the reports button in the main ribbon. You'll notice that the report screen has three main columns. The reports list, including profit and loss, cost center reports, forecast reports, and charts. The report criteria column and the report templates column. For each report selected on the left, there are a number of templates available on the right. Templates are variations on the selected report which include or exclude different columns or data. By clicking on the I, you can see what each report template contains. This is described in the template description. To close the description, just click the I again. I encourage you to review the default report templates as there are often many variations available for a single report type. The report criteria section is where you classify your business units, date range, budget version and other criteria for the report you wish to run. First we will look at business units. Click the change button to open the business unit selection window and in this example we will make a simple selection of projects. Select the checkbox of the projects you wish to include and use the consolidate selection drop down for consolidation settings. Note the consolidated and detail option which will allow you to run both a consolidated report and the individual project reports in the single report run. You may then simply click select to use this selection. However, you can also save this selection to a list. Click save as and give it a meaningful name. Click OK and the next time you wish to make this same selection, you can use this drop down to select the save list rather than making the selection manually. Click select to use the selection. The display as option allows you to set how the business units will be displayed at the top of the report including an option to use your saved list name. Account Trees is an advanced feature in Kelksa that allows you to create a different view of your chart of accounts by mapping your existing chart of accounts to new headers or groups. We will not be covering Account Trees in this video, however additional support material is available including a training video and support note on Account Trees. Next we select our date range and budget version and with the budget analysis we can also report on the balance sheet but for this example I'll leave it selected on profit and loss. Exception reporting is a feature that allows you to isolate variances greater than a certain value and this can be a percentage or a dollar variance. Once you've set your value I'm going to use $500 you can then have an option of highlighting the accounts with greater variances or only displaying the accounts with greater variances. We'll use the highlight option as it is easier to see in the end report what has happened. Expand the common settings section and you get further options like the account level and whether to suppress account numbers or accounts with zeros in the end report. Now we are ready to display. So in this report I would just like to point out two things. Notice that we have green highlighted accounts these are the exceptions we set in the criteria earlier with variances greater than $500. Also note that we have a consolidated report first followed by our individual project reports as per our business unit selection. OK, let's have a look at the report toolbar. The toolbar includes options to search, save, export and so on. If you can't make out what each tool does, just hover your mouse like this and the tooltip will be displayed. The first few are fairly obvious, like the print, save and zoom tools. However, I'd like to point out a couple of tools at the other end. This option allows you to insert a watermark. There is a text or image watermark option, and I'll demonstrate here with a text watermark to indicate a draft state. Now if we look at the export option, 
the default export format is PDF and if you click this icon that is the format you get. However, there are many other formats available by selecting this drop down menu. I'll demonstrate the Excel format. And as with all export formats, you get the option to open it after export. And you can see that this Excel file has kept the original formatting. OK, so that's the basics on reporting in Calxa and brings us to the end of Analyze Reports. The next video in this series is Step 4, Set Tax Timing. Now we didn't cover account trees in this video, however there is an additional video and support note available on this topic and you should also refer to the Business Unit List support note for advanced business unit selection options. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to contact Calxa Customer Support on 1800 733 249 or email helpme at kelksa.com. To speak with sales, call 1800 733 149 or email tellmemore at kelksa.com.